friends. So, voting. Come on, Taylor, again with the voting. Again with the voting. So you know those little stickers they give you when you go vote? Those are my favorite stickers in the entire world. Like, I like them even better than those stickers you get in elementary school for reading a book, and then you take them all to Pizza Hut, and they give you a pizza for reading. Like, even more than those. Voting stickers are that good. I got my first one when I registered to vote at the polls on election day in Wisconsin when I was 18 years old. And I started posting my I voted selfies not too many years after. I didn't get any stickers when I lived in Seattle where everybody votes by mail, and I'm still a little salty about that. But when I moved to New York, I started collecting the really cool state-specific stickers that we have here. Though my favorite sticker, I think, is from Georgia. On election day last month, I was texting voters in Georgia to remind them of their polling place, and one woman replied to me that she was already in line, but all of the voting machines were down. So I told her to stay in line and report it to the election protection hotline. The woman told me not to worry because she was not going anywhere. She texted me pictures from outside the polling place as people found benches and folding chairs to rest on and volunteers brought bottles of water and pizza. Then four hours after I'd pinged her with a, can I count on you to vote today? She texted me back a picture of her sticker the words I voted on top of a bright orange peach to let me know that she hadn't given up on making her voice heard. It's a great sticker, but it shouldn't be so hard to earn. And that's why I'm supporting Election Protection, this Project for Awesome, the annual YouTube charity live stream that you were probably watching before you found this video. Because we have this quirky little system called federalism in the US, we have our federal elections for things like president, senators, members of the House of Representatives, all at the same time. But other than that, where you vote, how you vote, when you can vote, when you vote for your state and local offices, even what you need to bring with you when you go vote can be different depending on what state and even what county you live in. But if you want to figure out straight from the people who make the rules, your state's secretary of state, that can be pretty tricky. Most of their websites don't look like they've been updated since 2002. Trust me, I tried to figure out the rules in every single one of them. Fortunately, there is an easier way. 866-OUR-VOTE. It's a national, nonpartisan election protection hotline that you can call any day of the year if you have questions about how to vote, where to vote, and what to bring with you. If you show up to vote and the voting machines aren't working or somebody tells you that you're not registered even though you are or you have any kind of problem at all, you just give them a call and some very nice lawyers will help you know the rules and also your rights. And who doesn't love lawyers? Hi, mom and dad. Speaking of lawyers, the election protection hotline is run by a larger organization called the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law. The Lawyers Committee is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization formed in 1963 to combat racial discrimination and inequality using the law. We know that racial discrimination is a big part of why voter suppression happens, and that's why the Lawyers Committee is so dedicated to fighting it. But they and their coalition of partners that they use to bring you the hotline in Spanish and Arabic and Mandarin and Tagalog and Urdu and Vietnamese and Korean and even via text message know that voting rights belong to everyone and they want to help you use them. I know that my donation helps the Lawyers Committee keep the hotline running and hire voter protection lawyers who, unlike regular lawyers, don't make a lot of money. They just really care about helping you make your voice heard. But most importantly, my dollars make sure that they can keep doing all the litigation, advocacy, and education to help protect and advance the right to vote for everyone, but particularly communities who have been systemically disenfranchised for so long. To make sure that your vote counts, and also to make sure that you get the best sticker in the world. If you wanna help keep the Lawyers Committee's election protection work going, you can go to the link in the description and vote for this video for the Project for Awesome. And if you have the means, donate to the Project for Awesome's Indiegogo campaign while you're there. Tell your friends to vote too, both for this video and in every election. I'll see you soon, bye.